Well, the footage you just witnessed was captured at the Potuhera railway station in Kurunagala this morning. The number of injured following the head-on collision between two trains in the morning has risen to 68. The director of the Kurunagala Teaching Hospital says that five of the injured are in critical condition. One of the injured is being treated in the intensive care unit of the hospital. The Rajarata Rajina No. 86 Express train from Vaunia to Mathura and the No. 17 Dieter Kilo Intercity Express, which departed from the Colombo Fort Railway Station at 6.50 this morning, headed for Pale, had collided head-on at the Potohara Railway Station. The accident occurred at about 8.45 a.m. this morning. This is the engine of the Rajarata Regina train. Engine 17 of the red colored train you see there had collided with the Rajarata Regina. Following the collision, the brake chamber of the Rajarata Regina had overturned owing to the pressure and had fallen onto the engine, following which it fell into the marsh behind me. A carriage attached to the train derailed, as you can see here. Our reporter says that six children were among those injured. Fourteen women were also injured in the collision. The injured are residents of areas including Kurunagala, Vadua, Mathale, Tangol, Anuradhapura, Galevala, Nikavaratia and Kalutara. Among the injured were also the engineer of the number 17 train, A. N. Rupa Singha, and his assistant. Meanwhile, our reporter says that the nursing staff of the Kurunagala Teaching Hospital were not on hand at the hospital to receive the injured patients owing to a strike action call for today. However, nurses had reported for duty about half an hour after the accident had occurred. Everyone has come together to help the patients. We are doing the best we can to save the patients. None of the patients have been transferred to other hospitals. General Manager of Railways, BAP R. A. Ratna, also visited the scene of the collision today to make inquiries. If there are certain persons who should be held responsible for this, we will take severe action against them without hesitation, regardless of their status. There is evidence we can see with our own eyes at present. It is evident that the train had proceeded without a signal being given. We will look into whether there were any weaknesses with the signal system. We will look into all matters, including whether corrections need to be made. There were statements made regarding the brakes of the engines. Do you think there may have been faults with the engines? No, I do not think so. Even in the case of a road accident, the first thing people say is that there were no brakes. There were no such complaints here. The assistant engineer on engine number 17 had this to say on the collision. I said the front brakes were not working. I kept hitting the brakes, but they were not engaging, and then we collided. The Transport Minister, Kumara Velgama, also visited the scene today. As far as we can see at present, the signal had not been given. There had been some mistake. The turning point had not been signaled for the express train to move forward. I must mention at this occasion that the Department of Railways will pay considerable compensation to the injured patients who have been hospitalized. In addition to the investigation carried out by the Department of Railways, it is possible to appoint a retired judge as an independent committee. The General Manager of Railways says that services on this line cannot be returned to normal until tomorrow evening. We will not move these carriages until we have obtained all evidence with regard to this incident. That could affect the inquiry. We hope to complete this process by tonight and commence a clean-up operation. While returning normalcy will be difficult, we hope to at least operate one train on one of the tracks by tomorrow evening for the convenience of the passengers. Meanwhile, railway trade unions charged that there was no underguard on board engine 17 accompanying the guard. When a train with more than eight compartments is travelling, there is a law that a guard as well as an underguard should be aboard the train. This train had 12 compartments and only one guard was on board. We see this as a violation of that law. 
Vidhi krame anugamane nokiri makle sa apida kinawa. Our reporter says that security officers of the Department of Railways, the Police, Army, and Special Task Force are providing security at the scene of the collision.